the doll moving around, uh, not, you know, like Chucky or whatever, but you come into a room and it's in a different position, you know, that was, that's part of the true case. Um, uh, there's a, a couple electrical mishaps that certainly, uh, that occur in the film that, that, that happen in the true case. Um, you know, there's a, there, a, a car accident uh, that, that happens and, and that was in the case. And, you know, I think, um, so yeah, I, d I definitely drew from, from the real life, uh, I mean, why not? I mean, that's, you know, doesn't that make it all the more scarier knowing that this stuff really happened? I, I think that's why, you know, sort of the based on, on, the, on the Ed and Lorraine case files is based on a true story is, um, you know, it, there's, you don't really have the safety net to be repeating in your head, it's only a movie, it's only a movie, it's only a movie, right? Because, because it's, you know, it's not, it happened. You know, there's so many great shots that he's done that it's been fascinating to watch because it's just, you know, so many, you know, horror is really about a sense of dread, a creeping sense of dread. It's not just about throwing a light on the monster and isn't that a cool image or scary image and isn't, you know, put that on the poster and, you know, give me your 10 bucks. It's really about just that suspense, you know, it's about approaching the corner before instead of turning it, you know, that should be real where the real terror lies. And the way he's shooting this thing, the way he's moving the camera, just really encapsulates it. And it's just been, it's been a, a joy and a thrill, a, a thrill to watch. You get a, you're getting a variety of different sort of, almost different sort of horror genres within this, within this one movie where you start out with a home invasion movie in the first act. And then you go into the supernatural, sort of into the, set, into the first and the beginning of the second act. And then you start to wonder if it's psychological, if this is psychological horror. Um, because you're wondering, you know, it's, she's a new mom, she's tired, she's had this awful thing happen to her in her past. I mean, anybody would be affected. You don't blame her for that, right? Um, so then you have that happen. But then we start to slowly discover that it's not in her head. It's a demonic entity that's attached itself to this doll. And now we're in a new sort of world, in a new sort of where we're, 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 um, we have a more of a, it's not just objects moving because, you know, now it's, we have... A, her, her, her child's life is in, is in danger. It's a, there's a threat there that she needs to sort of that she needs to figure out how to how to how to defeat it.